Alright everyone, welcome back to my Resident Evil 3 Beginners series. Now, in this one we're doing Hardcore. And we'll be using the Rocket Launcher and the two Assault Coins. These two here, the two Assault Coins and the Rocket Launcher. Now, if you followed my previous walkthrough to this where we did um, no item box, uh, under two hours, no healing, all collectibles, few other things all in one playthrough you would have got about 77,000 points and that would be enough to buy these if you didn't follow that or you just don't have enough for whatever reason um, I recommend just probably farming a little bit because having that rocket launcher and having them two assault coins will really help with hardcore they will help with every other difficulty from now on but you really need them for hardcore trust me it'll make it a lot easier and this video I'm showing the easiest way to do it guys, the easiest way to do it, the path of least resistance. Um, Alright, so let's get to it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to um, hardcore stronger enemies. Yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to skip the prologue guys and we will resume control just outside Jill, Jill's apartment building. Because you don't want to see that again, I'm sure you've seen it enough times by now. Alright, so here we are guys, we've just escaped that nutter that is Nemesis. Now I didn't say to begin with, but I will be collecting all healing items here and all hit pouches. That's all we collect really other than key items. It's mainly to prepare for the final boss fight because the final boss fight you will need them healing items. Um, and it, if you're doing a bit, you know, a bit worse than what I am, you've got healing items to fall back on. So yeah, all healing items guys. So you don't have to worry about getting stuck somewhere because you're taking too much damage. You can't get past a certain segment. We will have all the healing items. We get about, that's about 15 full healing items all together. And we need to probably save about 10 for the final boss. I mean, the more you have, the better. But yeah, right after the scene, you need to quickly move left and run past the. If you're not quick, the zombie will get you. It's not like a sister. The zombie's a little bit more aggressive. You need to be very quick on that scene. Just quickly turn. Hug them pallets and run past and the zombie shouldn't lunge for you. It changes up again on Nightmare and Inferno, you're going to love that. But yeah, for now you've got Hardcore. It warms you into it briefly, I guess. Because the enemy's a little bit more aggressive than what they were on Assisted. But for the most part, most of it's just the same. Um, just some of the enemies are a little bit more aggressive. So you just have to move a bit faster during certain parts. So just through here like normal. Leave Dario this time. We're not going to listen to his rubbish. Sir, are you all right? Stay back. Don't yeah, go hide in your container. You weak, pathetic fool, Dario. Just head straight past him. Yeah, out of this yellow door. Now, when you get into your car, Obviously you need to keep pressing X to start it, then R2 wants to actually start driving. And then when you actually have to hold it in, you can hold it in beforehand and it will work. Just keep holding it in and then once a prompt appears, you'll automatically be holding it. Now this is elevator, straight after the, the people leave and you assume control, just quickly dodge left. So you dodge left, then 11 o'clock and then 2 o'clock. And that's exactly what you want to do in Inferno. Uh, nightmare and inferno so as soon as you gain control dodge left you know about nine o'clock from where Jill's facing so dodge at nine o'clock and then eleven o'clock and then two o'clock and that gets you out of the danger because that zombie he's very very aggressive on hardcore and even even more aggressive on nightmare and inferno and you will need to do that to avoid him right so just press x a few times then you have to press r2 now just hold r2 in and when the prompt appears to hold it, you'll already be holding it and so it'll get through quickly. So I've read there's been a few people that have died there just because Nemesis has killed them before the prompt is finished. Probably because they didn't quite hold, probably got like a split second start holding it. But if you're holding it beforehand, then you should do it every single time. Right, now we're going to meet Mr. Carlos. Again. Oh, come on. You dipshit, you closed it. Sorry, we're going to have to go around. 
This part is very, very easy. If you get lost or don't know where to go, just follow Carlos and he's going to take you to the train. Yeah, just keep following him if you're not sure on where to go. Just keep following him. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Language, Jill. But I'm going to the show now. You coming? Let's do it. Come on. This way. Dino bites. So this is the train. Alright, small cutscene, and we're good to go now. Now the game really begins. Yeah, to, to begin with here, there's probably not really much we need to worry about. Um, I mean, the the maze where the bugs are, are, where you have to flip breakers, that can be a little bit annoying on higher difficulties, just because of the RNG. And the higher difficulties you are, the more damage you do. It can be a bit of pain in the ass in Nightmare in Inferno. Um, so once you come up here, grab the two green herbs. Like I say, we're collecting all healing items. So none of you have got, you can't complain that you needed healing items to heal because we are collecting every single one. So we're just going to put everything away. No, no, Jill, don't do that. And we're going to take out the rocket launcher and the two assault coins. Now, if you have got anything else, um, could be helped. I mean, like the hip pouches, hip pouches you can use if you have to unlock them in the shop. The rocket launcher has a hell of a blast radius. Um, so you just shoot ahead. You can kill all the enemies you come across and it will help add towards the kill count challenges. And the rocket launcher it actually does more damage if you make a direct hit, by the way. So you don't need to worry about the um, general enemies like zombies. Because they have less health, it doesn't really matter. But the big bosses and the rocket launcher doesn't actually kill them in one hit. So yeah, I'm sure you guys can do this bit. Just dodge back from them zombies to safe from safe distance from the red barrel and then blow them up. Kill these guys. Oh, there's a lady. Yeah, the, the rocket launcher does more, more damage on a direct hit. And it actually says in the description, if you look in the description for it, that the piercing power of the rocket causes more damage than the explosion. And you can actually test that, you can find that out. So we're just coming through here, kill, shoot, oh I missed, shoot rocket lead, kill them. And shoot that one, make sure you're not too close to the red barrel because it will damage you. I think the red barrel is the only sort of explosive damage you can take from this game from the red barrels. You get stunned from everything, but that can actually damage you. So kill him, come around here, grab the fire hose. If you think there's any healing items I missed, don't worry, it's because I will be collecting them later on when there's a better opportunity where it's more optimal to collect it. So you've got the fire hose straight back out here, take a left, and we're heading into the pharmacy now, get a herb from there. Shoot that zombie there on the floor, otherwise you'll get up once you head into the pharmacy. Now heading back up to where we need to use the fire hose now. So we'll take this route because I think it's a little bit quicker than going up the catwalk. The um, hardcore, it does say, I mean obviously the enemies are stronger. Yeah, one thing they do do more damage to you, that's something you got to watch. You should, you should be fine following this guide. Um, it says you get less ammo and items. But herb, um, healing item wise, you don't actually get that much less. The healing items all seem to be in the same place as they are in the system. There is less ammo definitely, but the healing items, they all seem to still be on the game. So I'm not sure why it says less items. And when it seems to be the same, maybe it means the gunpowder isn't that, I'm not sure. But yeah, we've just got a bolt cutters. Uh, obviously we're going to head through here now. So we don't need anything, so straight up the steps. And follow Nikolai and watch him do it. He's going to vanish. Where the, f where the hell, Nikolai, did you go? Right, it's going to be two dogs in a second. 
be ready to shoot these. Just fire a few rockets just to make sure you've got them both. That's it. Because sometimes one rocket will only get one of them just because they're quite there's quite a distance between them. So I always just fire, fire a few just to make sure. Right through here, fire rocket there. So there's going to be two zombies either side the stairs. Well, one either side. Shoot him on the steps. Up here, grab a red herb from this little um, table here. Got that red herb into the control room and pick up the hip pouch. Yeah, you got more inventory space now. Now, you put everything away for a second. Now, if you have them, the recovery coins and the defense coins would be very helpful here. Um, you don't really need the assault coins, you could get rid of them here, you don't really need them for now. But just make sure you keep four inventory spaces because you will need them free for this next part. What if you do keep four inventory spaces guys because you will need them. So down here we're going to grab them two healing items and the case with a lockpick. Grab these two, don't combine them. If we ever need to use healing items during this next part we're going to use single healing items. Right so we've got the case. Right, 10 minutes, 10 minutes so far. So you're going to pick the lock now. Now you don't need a lock pick for much during this hardcore run. Um, we mainly need it for this sort of starting area and we need it obviously at the end of the game to get into the um, uh, bottom part of the hospital. Right, so as soon as you've been poisoned, um, we'll have a power side put in you. Heal with a green herb to cure it. And now this bit is very annoying now in hardcore. Always, before you head around the corner, always shoot around the corner first, just in case there's bugs waiting for you. Where you going, Owen? Stop. No, I don't think I've got him on time. So, doing this route first, because when you go the other way, um, it makes more of them appear. And they, these will just keep appearing randomly. There is some sort of, tr the way they work, but it's just sort of random. They'll just keep appearing every now and then. So, we're doing this breaker first. Well... Yeah, what you can do, since you pulled a breaker, just because it takes you a second to turn around, you can either fire a rocket straight at the breaker and the blast radius should kill it and you before you, or you, can, or you can as well just quickly do a dodge and then shoot a rocket. I quickly did a dodge then, so I didn't think I was going to get a rocket off on time. So yeah, shoot around the corners when you run past a corner. Don't worry about that electric box, it doesn't actually damage you. So another corner, I'm going to shoot around the corner first. As you see, that got a bug behind me then. So yeah, you see I keep doing this, I keep sort of firing rockets in front of me. So yeah, normally as soon as I pull a breaker, I try to follow, uh, fire a rocket. So just pull that second one, we're heading back a bit now. I just saw, um, <laughs> saw him scuttle off around the corner there. Ah, oh, there he is, saw a shadow. Right, round here, there's a green herb. So make sure you grab this green herb. There we go. Another rocket around the corner. There's another corner there to fire a rocket. Yeah, just keep firing rockets ahead of you every second or so. Another green herb at the end here. The blast radius for your rocket doesn't damage you, by the way. It just stuns you. Right, before you start pulling the breaker, make sure there's none following you. And then start pulling it. Again, just be ready. Quickly dodge if you need to. Or fire rockets straight at the breaker like that. So if any are about to grab you, it should damage them and kill them. Right, so now through here. Climb this ladder. There's one more breaker to flip. The reason we're doing this one last. It doesn't really matter on assisted. But on hardcore and higher difficulties. They're more aggressive. They spawn a bit more. And so yeah, just shoot around the corner. And once these two egg sacs on the left break, um, there'll be more that can spawn on the map. That's why I'm doing it last. So again, just make sure there's none spawning in before you start pulling the breaker. And again, just be ready to quickly dodge. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Nah, he's got me. I'm going to have to heal. 
is what I mean, they do a lot of damage to you on hardcore and above. No one just came from the wall on the right. Now when these eggs burst, don't shoot straight away because they, they don't take any damage for a second. Right, now I can escape, guys. We've done the last breaker. Let's get out of here. Right, I think that's it. I think we're good. Yeah, we've done it. Yeah, I hate that bit. That's probably the worst bit for me, if I'm honest, <laughs> three out of game, especially on higher difficulties. I just hate it. It's, it's, that bit's just purely sort of random. I think there is some sort of time to how often they spawn and that, but it's just so random whether they appear for you or not, so... Yeah, now, we can put the herbs away. Now, if you had any other coins, put them all away now, and you want the rocket launcher again, and the two assault coins, and the lockpick. That's all you want. When you switch to Carlos later and you switch back to Jill, you all have your health refilled automatically. The game does refill your health for you when you switch character. So I know I'm on caution now, but I'm sure I'm sure I can hold on until later on. Right, what's going to happen? Nemesis is going to burst out of the wall. As soon as you burst through, just hold R2 and hold hold L2 and hold R2 together. And what that will do, um, obviously that's aim and fire. And what that will do, as soon as you gain control, you'll fire straight away. And you have to literally fire straight away to stop Nemesis, otherwise he'll hit you before you get a chance. So hold L2 and R2, that's it, and you'll fire. If you wait, if you wait and do it afterwards, you will not be able to do it in time, guys, trust me. You need to hold L2 and R2 um, before you gain control. Then as soon as you gain control, um, then buttons will already be registering and will fire the rocket straight away. So you just knocked him down, just come through there, kill them two enemies. First aid spray from here. Yeah, grab his first aid spray. There we go. We need it for later. We're going to try and stockpile these. Only use one or two if you have to. We need to try and stockpile these for the last boss. Now be ready because Nemesis is going to appear somewhere here. Be ready shooting with a rocket. He might appear there near that ladder, so just be ready in case he does. Depends if he's recovered in time or not in the time it's took. Taking you to get up here, but he, either way, he should appear down here if he's not already. Depends how quick you are. Oh, it's a bit quicker, he's not quite recovered from when I hit him before. So what that means is he's going to appear out here. Shoot them two. Yeah, there he is behind me. He should be able to get through here in time. There you go, yeah, so if you just appear behind you, you can either quickly turn and shoot rockets, or you can quickly get into the Kite Boss Railway. Like I say, it's random, it just depends how quick you are, and whether he's recovered in time, because he won't appear anywhere else, anywhere else until he's recovered. So we need to pick this lock, no, we do not want that grenade, alright, well I've got it now. Um, pick this lock, because that's the first spray inside that we want. There we go. And now we can head into the back, um, the sort of control room here, and we can um, activate the subway. The right, so the code is, it's fa ra and sa no, I went past it, and then it's 232, that's how I remember it. So I remember fa ra sa and 232. Enter afterwards. Thank you. I'm on my way. Back to the subway station now, guys. Yeah, he's gonna get up. Just knock him back down. Out here. Kill that dude. There's another dude there you might want to kill just for another free zombie kill. Right, before you head out that door, come through here, and there's something we need to collect first. There's a green herb we want, and a fancy box. Now, put everything away, apart from, put everything away, apart from your rocket launcher, two assault coins, lockpick. 
Oh, and we need the bolt cutters as well. Do not forget them. So we want the bolt cutters as well. So all we want, guys, we want the rocket launcher, uh, two assault coins, the lock pick, and the bolt cutters. And you can take that first aid box with you. Uh, sorry, fancy box. Take that. So yeah, make sure you got all them items, guys. Come on, Jill. And then head out, head out of the donut shop, shop for a second date with um, Nemesis. Straight away, well, you want to shoot at the floor now because if you try and shoot him, he will dodge. So shoot at the floor, and then you know that he's going to be at least in the blast radius when he dodges away. He'll still be in the blast radius, and you'll still damage him. So once you knocked him down up here, and we're heading to the supermarket now, and we're going to grab a fancy box. There it is, and the first aid spray from the back shelf on the right. Yep, yeah, I take that. Now head into the toy shop, toy uncle, lockpick. I just want a fancy box, guys, and then get out. We're heading back to the subway now. Watch that zombie there on the floor that called out a police car. Um, careful, Nemesis might drop down in that gate, depending on how long you've taken here. Just come through here, killing these zombies. And there's another zombie just around this corner. Right, here we are in the subway. Now we're going to put in all put them gems into that sort of clock puzzle thing memorial thing over there um, so yeah here we go examine get the gem out put it inside and once you've done all three you should get the hip pouch the yeah, next one number two Tactical stock. Yeah, we don't need that. Right, there we go. Gem number three. Hip pouch. Hip pouch number two. There's only four hip pouches we get as Jill. There's two as Carlos. Right. Let's just put away what we don't need. Right, you don't need any of this now. Put it all away. All you want is your rocket launcher and the two assault coins. Now, after this cutscene, there's going to be a little chase. You need to quickly, you need to run ahead and quickly turn and shoot Nemesis. As you're running ahead, you can sort of turn. That's it. Once you've knocked him down, stunned him, grab the first aid spray from off that shelf in front, and then head head along the path now to the vent. If you're worried about hitting hitting your target, then just shoot the floor. Um, as you see there, what I normally do, I normally just run ahead. As I'm running, I rotate the camera so I'm ready to shoot the floor next to the big N. And knock him down again. Yeah, so you've got time, quickly come through his event. Come on, chill, really. Bit of a dramatic pull, that one. Right, so we're safe for the time being. In the sewers now. Alright, first of all, come into this office and there's a first aid spray in here. So come into the office, grab, uh, sorry, that's a red herb, not a first aid spray. Ignore my last. So, red herb, when you've got that, outside. There's a map there on the wall, but you don't really need it. Now the room where you get the grenade launcher, we don't need to head down there because there's no healing items in there, only the grenade launcher, some files and a explosive gunpowder if it even appears on hardcore. And so yeah, we don't need to head for the grenade launcher. The grenade launcher does actually appear a bit later on if you don't collect it now. So you can still grab it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna first we're gonna take a right and the tunnel be ready, kill a bit the, these call the Damus or something. Can't remember the names of these guys. Let's call them the large monsters. So that's one. There's going to be another one here. They take one rocket. They're not too difficult to kill. They take one rocket for two assault coins equipped as well.
They spawn a lot differently on the Nightmare, a lot differently on Nightmare. So once you're in here in the lab, grab the green herb around the corner and then grab a battery pack. I'll see if I can remember to take a battery pack out the doors this time. I normally forget. Right, so now we're heading back to the ladder near where we came in, where we dropped down the, um, the small slide. So here, one's going to appear in a second, there he is. You can actually damage these as they're coming out. You don't, actually, you don't have to wait for them to recover. You can damage these as they're coming out. Strange, because a lot of um, enemies, when they're like animating or appearing from somewhere, can't normally damage them until they've actually proper, fully sort of recovered from their animation. But these, you can damage them as soon as they appear, as soon as they appear. So yeah, we've come through there, up the ladder, up the steps, put the battery pack in this door to unlock it. There we go. Now one, another one's going to appear just here. He did, uh, but we've just killed him. Easy kills, easy kills, guys. Now back down here, take battery pack out the door. Doesn't seem like a very secure way to lock a door, does it? All you need, all you need, is some sort of makeshift battery, and you can um, break in. Right, so through here now, I'm going to take the hip pouch. Yeah, hip pouch number three. Now back out. Now make sure you grab a battery pack. This is the time when I always forget the battery pack. So make sure you take that out. Now we're heading to uh, heading for another meeting with one uh, nemesis now. Our third date. Is it a third date with him? Well, probably not if you count the first ever encounter um, just as, well, in the apartment. Yeah, I guess the apartment was. So, um, yeah, just come through there, up these steps, and he's going to help you up the ladder. Carlos. Yeah, Nemesis is going to help you out up the ladder. So, it's not all bad, he does help you sometimes. Like I say, he's going to help you up the ladder here. There we go, he's going to help you up. Ah, cheers, Nemesis. Right, well, you're going to have to kill these zombies. Probably not that one, but these two you will have to kill them. Because that one on the left will sort of lunge for you on hardcore. So you need to kill them. Right, once you're in the sort of building sites, come through here. And this green herb right at the back, there it is. Now just heading up, heading up the um, building now. Up the building. Like I say, you can kill the zombies just because it adds to your kill count. They're easy to kill the rocket launcher. Oh, he's here. Good idea, Jill. Right, knock these down. Apparently that's too far for Jill to jump across. Or this ladder. Oh, hello. Let's keep making way up now. And you should, sure, you should encounter a safe room. Not too far. Come on, Jill. What are you playing about at? Alright, got a little boss battle in a second. Now, there's a few healing items you want to collect in here, so I'm not going to kill him straight away. And this nemesis, if you try and shoot his body, sometimes he'll dodge, so it's best to shoot the floor. We're going to shoot him once, then we're going to run around here. Then we're going to shoot him again once we get around here, and that should knock him down for a little bit. Now we're going to collect the healing items, that's three, it's a green herb here. The red herb here. Yeah, see, he's still knocked down, and there's a green herb just round the back of these. Now you can finish him off. 
Remember, like I said, shoot the floor. If you try and shoot his body, he's just going to dodge out of the way and it's going to fly past him. But if you shoot the floor, the blast radius will still damage him. Right, he's down. We've got all them healing items we wanted. It's Jill. Can you read? There's going to be a few enemies just over there and the sort of on the road. You can kill them all if you want. Actually, heading across. Just some free kills. Yeah, I think that's all of them for. I think it's only four. There's a lot more on him. Um, no, there's one there. He's still standing. There's a lot more on Inferno and Nightmare. Straight into Kendo. So there's a green herb in here that we will collect. There we go, green herb. Come around here, this cutscene. Grab the key. There we go, now let's lob everything in the box which we don't need. Now I can head down the side alley, now we have the key. Right, once you get through the gates, grab the red herb. There we go, that red herb there. Shoot that. Kill that zombie. Through here, there's going to be another zombie there. Right through here. Now, rocket launching Nemesis is going to appear in a second. And what you want to do, quickly turn around and just aim. Uh, sorry, just draw your weapon and shoot. You don't need to aim. Just turn around, draw and fire. And the blast radius will damage him. So it's quickly to about face, just draw and fire. Don't bother, don't bother about taking time to aim. Once you've knocked him down, turn around and then start heading along the path. Now you're going to have to kill that zombie there. Keep going. You don't need to kill them zombies, but three kills. So uh, yeah, take him down. Now when he appears on the cars, you can knock him down, but it's quite risky. Um, you can take a bit of damage if you don't hit him properly. So just run past, keep to the cars. I say just keep to the side of the cars. That's what I do. That's a that's a cleaner way to do it, I think. You can knock him down, like I said, when he's on top of the police car. But it's quite difficult to do. If you're not sort of accurate... He can get a he can get a rocket shot on you before you actually properly knock him down. So it's easy, like I said, to just run run ahead, but just hug the cars on the right, and his rockets should miss you. So we're here now, and we're going to have that head rolling down the stairs in a second. Jim's craps sounds like a nice place to eat. Right. So once it comes down. Now it's a lot, you don't get much time to get away now, so what I normally do, obviously quickly turn around and then I do a dodge. Now the dodge actually does help, believe it or not, actually does help with that bit. If you, are, if you are having trouble, just try using the dodge mechanic and then it does actually help, believe it or not, for that. Right, when you're running back here, get ready to knock Nemesis down again when he appears. There he is, you've knocked him down because he dropped the case. Now we're heading back to the subway now. So through the gate, well, heading back the way to the subway. We're going to turn right there and follow Carlos. He runs so fast. I wish he would run that fast when he actually do control him. Right, we're Carlos in a second. Like I say, if you're unsure where to go right now, just follow Carlos. My ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Move out of the way of the door. What matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah. And you'll be safe. Right, we're in 32 minutes. I'm probably taking a bit longer, guys, just because I'm explaining a few things. But you can probably you can do this in just shy of an hour. Quite easily with the rocket launcher. 
than to assault coins. Them assault coins increase your damage quite a lot, that's why you need them. You know, turn, take a right, Jill, not left. Right, now we're going to be Carlos. Carlos has he has a lot of healing items you can collect, but you don't really need him with Carlos. He doesn't really have any big bosses to fight. Right. Bit of a shame really that he doesn't have a boss. You know all he gets is his assault rifle. Really. But yeah, it's not really any any troublesome parts with him. We'll get all the healing items. But you don't really need him, but I'm gonna start piling him anyway for you guys. So first of all just take out Brad. Obviously you don't let him get too close. Don't worry about your assault rifle ammo, we're going to get rocket launcher in a second. Now, there is a red herb, if you want to go back through that um, doorway we came down, came through, go down the stairs, underneath here, and there's a red herb just over there. Can you just see it there, a red herb? There it is. If you want that, you don't need it, like I say, but if you want to go and grab it, dig out. Right, first of all, just come around the back here, because there's a green herb. There it is. Just do a little lap, a little lap of the lobby, the main hall. Now while he's still talking, put everything away and take out the rocket launcher and the assault coins. There we go. Right, let's have a look. Show me Toro what you found. Damn. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get Good to know. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Can I say here? Right, that's it. Head through a shutter now and head up to the star's office. There's quite a lot of enemies with Carlos. Um, just helps to know where they all are. So there's one there. Once we get around the corner, one's going to start breaking through this window here. Throw a rocket there. Be ready to shoot because one's going to come through a door. And I come through here. Unlock this door. To the west. The um, weapon locker hallway, I like to call it. Once you get through here, there's going to be a load of zombies in front of you. Shoot a rocket, kill that one over there. Be ready, one's going to come through that door. That's There we go, and shoot there, because there's one around the corner. Once you've done that, come through here. Kill that one on the floor, she's actually still alive. Come to the safe. Now the code is 9157. Nice and easy. Yeah. His first hip pouch. Right, out the um, small office, there's a red herb over here on a set of drawers. Now we're going to head around um, back to the hallway now and into the dark room. So, along here, around the corner, through the doorway, there's a red herb in this right hand locker. There we go. Now up the stairs, all the way to the top now. To grab the key for the we weapons locker room. Now, as a zombie just lay down up there, you shoot a rocket there to kill him. There we go, otherwise, he'll wake up on your way back down and try and bite your ankle. You try and gnaw at your ankle, you will. So, just grab that blue key, heading all the way back down out. There's going to be a locker once you get down, a uh, locker, a liquor. It's going to be a licker once you get down near the weapons locker, so just be ready for that. You know, either, you can either just run down and shoot him as soon as he appears, or if you want to play a bit safer, just walk, and when he drops down, shoot him. There we go. Once you've knocked him down, oh, unlock this and come through. Shoot a rocket there, so there's a zombie there. Now, our code for this is 104. All we want is the battery. Enter. 
There we go, grab the battery from 104. There we go, grab the green herb from the back. There it is, on the filing cabinet. And we're heading back up to the um, first floor now, is it? And into the shower room. Now it's second floor. Yeah, zombie falls down there. You can shoot a rocket to kill him if you want. It's not a problem as you run past him before he recovers. Yeah, sorry, second floor. Once you get in the shower room, there's a herb just here on your right. Yeah, so, um, I mean, in UK, we normally say the bottom floor is the ground floor. But I think in America, you guys call it first floor, don't you? Right, so we're going to take the electronic gadget. And we're going to combine it with the battery and then place it on the C4. There we go, skip the cutscene, shoot a rocket through here, one or two, one, shoot one into this first room and then one into the far room. So that should kill all the enemies. One will st still burst through that door, so just be ready. There he is, kill him. This first lock on the left, that's the first age brain. Now walk through here, because this liquor, you can't actually damage it to begin with. You have to wait for him to sort of recover, there we go, and then you can shoot a rocket. Don't just run in and shoot straight away because it won't damage it. You have to wait a second till that liquor can actually receive damage. So once you're in this DAS office, take the first aid spray from the first aid pouch on the wall there and grab the red herb from here. And that's all we need from here, guys. You can exit. We're done. Back is still now. Right, this is only a sort of quick spell, it's Jill, and then we're in the hospital. Right, in here, we're going to grab the first age brain, that's all we need really. The first age spray. Discard that, we don't need it no more. Yeah, so first age spray, that's all we need. As you see, the grenade launcher and the shotgun are here now. So through here, there's going to be two zombies, well, three or four, I think there is. Just make sure you kill them all. That's it, then head through. Fire a rocket at the far wall, and that should kill the three zombies in here. Yep. Yeah. And yep. Yeah. Come around here. Now, it's a green herb by a statue. You've probably noticed, well, I'm sure you have. I don't, I don't take loot from the crates. It's because I found that some of the crates, I'm not sure if it counts for all the crates. So just got that green herb from there, guys. It just, I'm not sure, like I said, I don't, I don't know if it counts for all crates, but some crates, the items inside are sort of random. They've got random elements um, that actually affect what is inside them. I'm not entirely sure how it works. Sometimes it depends. It looks like to me, say if you, if you approach a certain crate and you've got low pistol ammo, then it'll give you pistol ammo or sometimes healing items. If you're low in health, it'll give you healing items. I don't know, but I, I just avoid all crates just to avoid having more items than what you guys have. So straight after, just shoot Nemesis. Just keep shooting this body now so we do the most damage. Just keep shooting him. Should only take three or four rockets to kill him. There we go. Like I say, just keep shooting this body. If you shoot the floor, it will not do as much damage. Just keep shooting this body. Now once you killed him, there's a green herb just near the statue in the centre on this side of it. And once you've got that, uh, head through it and we're done. Roughly half a day later. Right, Carlos now, in the hospital. Okay. Let's clear up our inventory a bit. Right, yeah, as you can see, we're getting loads of healing items with Carlos. Right, so out, yeah, I can't remember if there's healing item there or not. Out here, there's the first aid spray on the front desk here, on the left corner. There we go, once you've got that, we're just going to head through here now. 
There's going to be a few zombies in here. There's a red herb here on the desk. A zombie will come through our door, so just be ready for that. We'll be encountering the hunters soon. Hunters, you need to be quick. Otherwise, they'll normally get you if you're not quick enough. Just through here now. Grab the tape player. There we go. Through here, there's a green herb just down here near the uh, chairs. Through here, kill these. Suckers. There'll be one zombie on the rooftop. We just an animator later, but you can actually kill him now. There he is. Now heading all the way around here and we're going to jump out that far window. There we go, this green herb just on the side here near the glass. Grab that and grab a key. The red key for the... Um, I can't remember the name of the room now. But it's, a, it's for access to the lockers upstairs where you get the ID card. I can't remember the name of the room. We're back upstairs now once you've got the key. Here we are, our nurse's station. Is it called the nurse's station? I thought that's another room. Alright, so through here, use a key on the door. And the ID card is in this fire locker on the left corner. There we go. Now on the way out, we're going to encounter a hunter. Just be quick and shoot as soon as it appears. And it should be okay. There we go. That's a waste of time, wasn't it, hunter? Right, so through here now, grab a green herb. You can put your stuff in the box now. Um, but you need to keep keep the tape player and the ID card. Yeah, so if you put anything away, just make sure you keep the tape player and the ID card. So back to the centre and then head down here. And to this room here. Now there's a zombie here that you can shoot. She'll animate shortly. But just walk down here and that will make the zombies burst through the doors. I've no idea how that rocket damaged him. But through here now, shoot that, kill that enemy. Oh, she's already dead. Grab the green herb from near that first bed. And it'll come back through now. Now use the ID card on there to unlock the door. Now these two hunters are going to be a pain in the ass. They're an absolute pain in the ass these two hunters are. through here, fire a rocket there, that should kill the two zombies in this room. There's a red herb here, and a little step ladder. Is he dead? Yeah, I think he is. Right, this room, he's got to try and open the door and shoot rockets through. And hopefully you'll hit the hunter. The hunter. Well, remember there's two of them. Yeah, he's still there. thought I was going to miss him. Yeah, that's it. You just got to be careful there, guys. Just be careful. Sort of open the door. Try and get a rocket in and move back. The, the hunters can actually hit you. If you're standing near the door, they can hit you. Their, their actual attack has quite a long range and they can hit you through it. So, yeah, just make sure you open it and move back slightly. Otherwise, they will catch you. And just be careful. They can come through the door. So, just be ready for that. I don't want you to panic when they come through the door and just start flapping shoot rockets all over the place right so once you've got that tape uh, cassette player from the treatment room you're obviously coming back down here now when you get through here all the zombies going to burst through that glass you can't hit them until they break through so just wait for them to burst through and then shoot them 
That's it. Shit that zombie because she, she may animate if you're not killed already. There's a green herb just there. Well, if, actually avoid that. That's in the crate. So I'm going to discard that, guys. But use a ID card in the store to unlock it. I'm going to discard that green herb, guys, because it's in that crate. In the operations room, operations room, turn left, and there's a green herb here, just by the sink, the cleaning sink. Now I can head into Bard's room now. So through here. Interact with this sort of intercom on the door, and combine the cassette with the cassette player, and then use it to unlock it. You have to wait a second just until you can actually interact with the door. God damn Nathaniel Bart. <laughs> Don't you know who I am? God damn Nathaniel Nathaniel Bard is dead. Tyrell. Bard's dead. He's been shot. Right, grab a green herb afterwards. And then interact this computer to advance the objective. There we go. Once you've done that, head in here and grab a vaccine from the shelf. Right, when we exit the room, a hunter's going to drop down from ceiling, so it should be ready. There we go, be ready to kill him. The blast radius should kill it, so you don't actually have to hit him on target. Different matter on Inferno and Nightmare, but yeah, on Hardcore, the blast radius with two assault coins should kill a hunter. It's through here now, just be careful, because if you didn't kill all the zombies in here, there may be one that does animate when you come back through. Uh, so we're going to give Jill a vaccine now, and then we're going to do the hospital siege. If you want to make a save here for farming later, obviously make a safe. I'm not going to bother. You're welcome, Jill. First aid spray here. Yeah, right. All the healing items we've got is Carlos. We've got bloody loads. Let's have a look. So this is all we've got is Carlos. Jeez. He just doesn't need that many. That's probably only a little bit less than what Jill gets throughout, the, throughout her whole run. He gets almost as much as a... Right, so obviously bring healing items with you if you think you need them. But there is, there's a first aid spray here. If I can grab it. Yeah, there we go. And there's a green herb through there later on when you get access. So yeah, just keep killing the zombies now. Obviously when the light goes out, be ready to kill a hunter and turn them to the switch. But very, very easy, guys, with rocket launcher. So easy. This is a good way to rack up a lot of your kills as well. If you want to um, increase your kills on your challenge, obviously not weapon kills, but just uh, normal kills, this is a good way to do it. The next, the next part of the um, hospital siege, where it's a checkpoint safe, that's a bit better because you can just keep shooting the same area then and you'll get a lot of kills quickly. But yeah, we're just going to keep killing them guys. And when the lights go out, obviously be ready for the hunter to burst through there. But when the hunter bursts through, the enemies do actually come through the window pretty quick then. Um, but what you can do, because... When the lights go out, you've probably got about 10 seconds before the hunter actually bursts through. You can just take a second to kill any more zombies that come through the windows before you turn, ready to shoot the hunter. There's a hit pouch in that room as well. Um, so flip the switch, grab a hit pouch, grab a green herb. I don't know why there's a hit pouch there. It's not as if you really need a hit right now. But just have to be careful on your way back out of that room because there, might, there may be a load of zombies waiting for you around the corner. So like I say, when the hunter appears from that room when the lights go out, the zombies do seem to come through Rinder, the windows really quick just for a few moments. I don't know why. I guess it's just to give you a bit of a surprise when you come back out of the, the um, light switch room. There we go. So like I say, once a break, once it's gone out, you've got a moment. You can actually hear the hunter when it's trying to break through. There we go. Knock him down. Once you knocked him down, come in here. Press the switch. Shoot that zombie. Grab the green herb and the hit pouch. There we go. It's not like you need it, but... Yes, like I say, just be ready. 
yeah because like see this zombie here they come through pretty quick just like just for that small moment when the hunter bursts through the zombies just seem to all be waiting for you when you come outside so yeah just resume what you're doing now until the shuttle comes down the only thing you need to watch out for here is just give me a second and i'll tell you when the shutter is about halfway when it's about halfway a hunter will come through this window here and it'll come through very fast so make sure you're ready for it yeah it's not really much warning it'll just pop up through the window and then it'll start chasing you so yeah just make sure you're ready when that shutter is about halfway down you're ready to shoot a rocket at the hunter Getting close to halfway. Yeah, right. Here he comes. Any second now. Any second. There he is. <laughs> hey, buddy. I was waiting for you. I was wondering when you drop in. Yeah, I think we've got all the zombies as well. Yeah, shortly after he, that hunter drops through, um, that part of the siege will end and the final part will begin. Yeah, you can get tons of kills here, tons of kills. Um, but yeah, once you get control, just kill all them, grab the detonator, and then place it back down. There we go, you can just get some kills while you're waiting now. Now, I just want to check my records. I want to see exactly how many kills I get during this, how quick it is. Um, so, where's the actual amount? Let's look at that. I'm on 731. Let's see what that goes up to. So yeah, just keep shooting these now while you're waiting. 30 seconds. And there we go. Now let's see how many kills I actually got. Uh, where is it? Seven nine one or something. So sixty. I got sixty kills in thirty seconds. Then it was a rocket launcher. Not even close. Obviously, if I hadn't actually placed a bomb, I would have got a lot. I would have got what one hundred twenty kills in a minute. That's not bad, is it? So yeah, if you've got the rocket launcher on that last part of the hospital siege, guys, you can get 120 kills in a minute. Right, last part now. Last part, the back is Jill. Right, let's just get what we need. We'll put all, all the healing items away. And you need a lockpick. And obviously you want the rocket launcher and the assault coins. So yeah, you need that lockpick. Right, let's do it. Let's go, Terrell. So there's not really nothing you can collect to steal right now in this part. So straight to this door, lock pick. There's a zombie in here on a, a nightmare. A little, I think it's a pale face. Right, we'll make the elevator go down. This is very similar looking to the elevator in Remake 2 Remake. Not the same one, I know, but it's very similar looking. Uh, once you're down the bottom, we're going to grab a green herb from just over there in that forklift. 
guess the forklift driver never knew whether he'd need it or not, so he left it there. Always handy for a forklift driver, green herb. So up this elevator now. We've got the fuse sequence next. If you've not already done the fuse sequence where you have to complete it within five minutes, you should easily get that now. We've got the last hip pouch in here as well. It's Jill, the last hip pouch. There it is. Through here, jump down. Yeah, press this, a fuse, this will blow. I must admit, I respect your tenacity, but I'm afraid our games end here. Press this and then quickly shoot that zombie that's falling down, that uh, testicle testicle zombie. Looks like a testicle, don't it? Shaped shaped like a man. Or a naked Deadpool. I don't know. They regenerate like Deadpool, don't they? Right, the first first fuel is uh, fuel. The first fuse is up here. Right, then down this down this ladder. Now, shortly after coming down this, there's going to be two dogs bursting. You don't really get much time to attack after they burst through, so we're going to quickly dodge left and then fire. So just now, quick spam left and dodge. That's it. Then quickly turn and shoot. Then be ready for the next one. There it is. Yeah, so as soon as the dog jumps down, you get control. Just quickly dodge left and then shoot. If you try and shoot straight away, um, you won't get a chance to shoot it and it may grab you before you get a chance to shoot. So come around here, shoot that zombie through this tight gap in the shelf. It's not that tight. Now grab this red herb. As soon as you get through, just turn around and we'll see it on the floor. We're heading all the way across there now. But we need to race this elevator first platform. And then down this ladder. We have about four, four or five zombies in here. Just fire rocket to kill them all. There we go. Grab uh, fuse number three from here. No, sorry, fuse number two. And then head over here now. Now one of the large monsters are going to burst through that door. Kill him because there's a green herb at the back there. Probably don't really need to come here. But it's an extra healing item, so let's grab it. Yeah, up the ladder. We'll get the last fuse now, and then we're going to head, head up, head up into the um, control room over there, and then deeper into the labs. So there's a few zombies in here. Just fire rocket. I should kill them all. Down this ladder. Now it's going to be a hunter appear here, and sometimes when this hunter appears, it jumps straight over you and then attacks you from behind. So draw your wa uh, rocket ready. As soon as it appears, fire. And hopefully you'll get it. Like I said, if he does jump behind you, you may have to quickly turn around and shoot him. But just make sure you've got your weapon drawn and then shoot as soon as it appears. So just got a fuse from there. Fuse number three. And now we've got them all, we can head over and place the fuses and head up into that control room. At least three zombies up here going to get up. Should be ready to knock them all back down. There we go. One carefully placed rocket will kill them all with one. Uh, right, interact with the breaker here and put fuses inside. There we go, all done. Let's, uh, let us head up up the um, lift now and pursue Nikolai. Oh, we missed him, damn. Damn, we missed him. Right, grab that file from there and then that should be a cutscene. And then you'll see Terrell and you can move on. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. I know. 
I've already done this, you know. You BCS are all dead, apart from Carlos. All right, wait. I can't run. I'm handicapped in this place. I can't run for some reason. All right, there we are. There we go. Right, probably about five, to five, ten minutes left, guys. Not much, not long now. So straight into the storage room ahead. Green herb. If you turn right, just green herb in the corner. Let's open the box and put some things away. I have no idea why I did that. For I didn't mean to do that. Um, never mind. Okay, so we'll put everything away for now. We'll grab that green herb just in the corner there. Right through here. And all we want from here is the flash drive. Yes. Got the flash drive that's more conveniently left. Probably didn't really have time to think for this zombie outbreak. So down here now and to this room that which we passed earlier. And we're going to put the USB drive inside. Complete. And you're going to overwrite it. And completely overwrite. As few zombies in here you can kill. Just actually making your way up the steps. Ouch. Right through here, shoot that zombie in the corner, she'll get up soon. And to take the culture sample from here. I might be able to use this to there we go, lazy that was, exactly the same animation as in Resident Evil 2 Remake. They couldn't even be bothered to change that. Uh, so downstairs through here, and there's a green herb there. There we go, through here, turn left, there's a red herb in the corner. There it is, thank you. Yet another healing item down here now. There's a zombie just around here, you can shoot there to kill it. That's it, he's all burnt, he's burnt to a crisp. Push this large battery in the power source. There we go, we can unlock the door now. Let's head back. And open sesame. D1 sector. No, O1. O1 sector. So now you're in O1 sector. Take the lift up. Into the top floor of the O1 sector. Through here. All we get now is, I think it's called the liquid filled test tube. Is it called? Is that what it's called? You can shoot that door. That should kill about four enemies that are in there. And that one there, kill her. Now grab the liquid filled test tube from here. Yep, there we go. Um, yeah, you can combine them to make the vaccine base. And then we need to head, head back down now. Yeah, so head back down now into the bottom of the old one sector. Now it's going to be three hunters here and you have to kill them because the doors get closed. Now what's going to happen, as we walk you through it, that hunter will jump out and about two seconds, well one to two seconds later that hunter will jump out and about four seconds later that hunter will jump out. So you can quickly kill them two then quickly turn and kill that one. That's it. There we go. That's it, guys. Now, if you shoot as soon as they jump out, you won't damage them. You have to wait a second till they, they can actually take damage. So you normally have to shoot one, and then wait a second, and then shoot the other one, and then you can turn, and then shoot that other one. <laughs> the other one, the other one, and then the other one. 
Oh, shit, that made me jump. You little testicle face. What happened with him is when you collect the culture sample, he crawls down there. And I forgot about him. Yeah, he crawls down there. Obviously, never mind. But yeah, once you come out there, he'll start crawling from there. And I should have killed him on the way past, but I forgot about him. Apologies for that one, guys. But I'm sure it's not the end of the world. I could always just quickly checkpoint reload and do that bit and pretend that I meant to do that. But yeah, no need. You've got that bit. Right, so interact with this and use that vaccine base. And there it is. So the code is mid, high, low, very easy. Mid, high, low, not like that one in 2 Remake when you had to bloody put the red in and then the blue and then the green and then the red again. <laughs> That's a pain. Right, so skip the cutscene and then grab a vaccine. There'd be another one, another cutscene, right. And then we can head, uh, 1 hour 05 we're on. Now we're going to approach the hardest part in the game, guys. This is the hardest part in the game. I'm telling you now, you may not make it past this bit, but hoping, right, you need to hold forward on the left analog stick now. Now I know this is very, very hard. Just keep holding forward, guys. You can do this. Just keep holding forward. That's it, guys. That's it. You've made it. You've made it past the hardest bit in the game. Right, so now we're here. You can want to grab the first age spray from there. There we go. And you don't really need anything for now, guys. Obviously, you need your rocket launcher and your two assault coins. But it's the actual final boss, which is a difficult one. This one isn't too bad. Just make sure you hit him on target so it'll do more damage. You should only take about four rockets. Just hit him on target. You have to aim first, just get on him, and then just keep hitting him. There we go. And after Carlos cutscene, start shooting him again. There we go. Yeah, not many rockets. You can't you can't kill him until after that Carlos cutscene. So you need to shoot about three. And then after Carlos cutscene, just shoot a few more and that should end him. I have to get that vaccine back. Alright, so through here now. And grab his first aid spray. Right, that's it. Let's get ready for the final boss. Right, you don't need the assault coins now because we're only popping blisters. I don't mean literally, not on your body. On the boss, he's got little blisters. And they don't take too much damage to pop, so you're fine with just a base rocket launcher. You don't need the assault coins. And now just follow your inventory up with healing items now. You won't need them all, but better safe than sorry, right? So, right, let's get first aid sprays first. There we go. And then we're going to have to combine some red and green herbs. Look at all these healing items. Yeah. I'm going to take that one because I've messed that one up. Right. Uh, let's start combining. Let's do some combining. There we go. And let's get some more green herbs. Actually, let's put that away so I can take two out. There we go. Right, is that enough? Um, no, I need to do one more. There's, there is a first aid spray in the boss arena, by the way. I, I will point it out to you. But in case you need another one, I mean, <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. But there, there we go. We've got, what, uh, 4, 8, 12. You've got 14 healing items there, guys. You should have no problems at all. But you can make a save here if you want. In case you just want to retry this later on for a bit of practice. But yeah, make a save there. And let's go. Just make sure you heal after each attack. Each time you get hit, heal. It's not too difficult and hardcore. So straight away, come over to here and use the railgun. Press X, get it out. There's the other first aid spray, by the way, guys. There it is. Right, after you've used the railgun, just stay where you are. If you shoot him where you're already aiming, you can sometimes get all three of one rocket like that. Now keep dodging once he's stunned because he can hit you when he drops his arms and quickly pushing the power source on the left. 
Leaves the two on the right for last. If you're quick, you can sometimes push them two in at once with once done, but it is quite risky. So it's best just to do it this way. Again, if you try and shoot them in the middle, you can sometimes pop all this is at once, just like that. You sort of shoot his belly, and you can sometimes get all blisters with one shot. So once you push it in back to the middle, just so you've got a good point of view. There we go. I'm going to take damage now. There we go. Now, when you get when you do get stunned, uh, spam all the buttons because it will make you recover quicker. Right, one more over there. Yeah, so spam all the buttons when you get hit because it'll make you recover quicker. Oh, completely missed there. And there's one more blister there. There we go. Once you've got them all, quickly dodge to the back one. And then once you push this in, just quickly uh, dodge over to the railgun and then use it. And that's him. That's him defeated. Go, guys. Go, guys. That's it. Use that railgun. And finish him off. Stick it in his mouth and blow him to smithereens. Doosh! Ghostbuster gun. The ray gun. Shame you can't unlock that. That'd be a right beast. Obviously, probably not good on the spiders, <laughs> but everything else. Right. Stick that in your mouth. Eat that. Are you hungry? Take the fucking int. Alright. I didn't need to say that. Jill already made the point. Alright, so that's it guys. We have one more bit. You have to actually hit Nikolai. The end um if you miss if you miss Nikolai, it's quite brutal what happens. Yeah, it's quite brutal. And there is a checkpoint save here. So if you haven't found out already, um <laughs> if you want at the end you can miss miss and fire on purpose and it, yeah it's quite brutal what happens. So yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, there's the checkpoint save. Yeah, so it's not too difficult, guys. Um, as you see, having them healing items stockpiled does help because some of that final boss is some of his moves are difficult to dodge without practice. You need practice to be able to dodge them. But if you've got them healing items, you don't have to worry. You can just heal after each attack. And like I say, when you do get stunned, when you get stunned, spam all the buttons and that will make you recover a bit quicker. Alright, so make sure you shoot him. There we go. Alright, that's it. Let's just look at my score. And let's see how many extra points I got in the shop during that run. Yeah, so 1 hour 11, like I say, I'd have probably gone a bit quicker if I weren't talking to you guys. You guys slow me down. Yeah, so we've just got them trophies. Let's just have a quick look in the shop, guys, before I call it a day there. Right, so bonuses, shop. Right, nice. Look, we're now we've got... Uh, 27,000 now so you got plenty of points just to buy some extra stuff ready for nightmare should you want to things I recommend you probably want the the hit pouch is probably not that important because all it, again for nightmare and inferno once I get my guides up from them will just be really collecting healing items and using the rocket launcher but the iron defense coins will really iron defense they'll really help on nightmare really help and the recovery coins may help here and there they'll help definitely during the bug section but everywhere else, they probably won't be that helpful. But they're good for the bug section. And the Iron Defense coins, they're good for the bug section. And, well, for any form of damage, really, they're good. Because it makes you sort of take about half damage when you've got them both equipped. And that really help our Nightmare and a buff. Yeah, so that's it, guys. That is it. I hope it helped. And I'll probably catch you on the next video if you stick about. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.